Hello and welcome back everyone to my island in the sun. Thank you for tuning in to A Taste of St. Martin. Today we have macaroni pie on the menu. This dish is loaded with cheesy goodness. Start by boiling some water on medium high, add salt to taste and then add your macaroni. I went ahead and added some avocado oil. Of course, you can choose your oil of choice. The oil prevents the macaroni from sticking together. Then you just want to go ahead and just stir everything together. While the macaroni is boiling, I went ahead and cut up my vegetables. I have here some bell peppers, the orange, red and yellow ones. I also have some onions and some garlic. You are more than welcome to add what you prefer but this is typically what I do. Um, it helps enhance the flavor of the macaroni. I cooked my macaroni until it was about al dente. That's about maybe seven minutes. It just depends on the instructions given on the box. Then remove from stove top and drain. You can start grating your cheese or you can use pre-grated cheese as well. That is fine also. I have here some Kobe Jack, Monterey Jack, sharp cheddar and some Velveeta cheese. Um, of course, you are more than welcome to choose your cheese of choice. I'm going to begin the process to start to saute my vegetables. I'm adding some oil to cover the bottom of the pot. This is adequate for the amount of veggies I have. Once the oil is heated, begin adding your veggies. You want to go ahead and add your bell peppers first. Saute them for about two minutes. After the two minutes, go ahead and add your onions. It also satay for two minutes. Lastly, add your garlic to the mixture. At this point, you want to reduce your heat to medium low. You do not want to burn your vegetables. It will leave a bitter taste. My veggies are soft and to my liking. So now I'm going to add in the heavy cream or you can do milk as well or you can do half, half, half milk, half heavy cream. It's entirely up to you. Add your Velveeta first. Make sure to stir it until it's all melted. This part is a little bit time consuming but simmer and stir on medium heat. Um, until everything is melted through. You want to do this because you do not want the uh, cheese to burn. Once everything is melted, then start adding your macaroni. I also added some butter and stir until melted. Then add half of your cheese. You want to go ahead and add the Kobe Jack, then your Monterey Jack, as well as your sharp cheddar. Combine and mix thoroughly. I'm going to start adding my seasonings to my mixture. I'm adding some onion powder as well as some garlic powder. And then um, I went ahead and added some adobo seasoning. Go ahead and mix this through. At this point, you want to go ahead and taste test and adjust your seasoning if needed.
Begin by transferring half of your mac and cheese to your desired baking dish. I wanted my mixture a little bit more creamy, so I went ahead and added some additional cheese. To my fresh grated cheese, I added the four cheese blend as well as the six cheese Italian blend. Of course, you can do without adding the extra cheese. Now go ahead and add the next half of your macaroni mixture. And also top with the remaining cheese. Now go ahead and transfer your macaroni pie to the oven on 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is melted. After 15 to 20 minutes, I turned on my boiler until my macaroni pie was golden brown. Once it's golden brown to your liking, go ahead and remove your macaroni pie from the oven. this is the finished product and let cool for about 10 minutes before serving I'm going to go ahead and taste it to see how it turns out It's nice and creamy. This simple recipe is loaded with cheesy goodness for the ultimate comfort food. I hope you guys decide to try this delicious dish. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Remember for the full recipe, a link will be provided in the description below. Until next time, always cooking, always progressing.